We never heard of a single-seater airplane which stayed aloft three days or more. So you can imagine the degree of unknown and uncertainty we have now if we're speaking of flying around the world with solar impulse. So one of the goals of today is really to monitor the pilot's health on every possible parameter as well as possible. Because you can imagine that the health problem on the ground is no fun, but the health problem in the air when you're alone in the cockpit can be a disaster. So we're monitoring the brain activity of the pilot. So we're interested in seeing the, the waves that his brain is emitting, called electroencephalogram. It will help us to determine the periods during which he's sleeping and the periods during which he's awake. Everybody needs to know himself, to know his limit. And that's the main aim of this trial, is to see what are the limits of the pilot so that he knows himself better and he can decide how much sleep he should get over 24 hours. We are performing different vigilant tests every two hours where he has to press a button whenever a number pops up and so it will allow us to see how his reflexes will evolve during the 72 hours. We expect that in the beginning he will be very vigilant and in the end he may be slower. And we would like to compare the subjective feeling that he has about his vigilance and what we actually measure. And there may be a gap between what he feels and what we measure. Probably it won't be possible to monitor the EEG during the, the whole flight. So that's even more important to monitor him now during the, the virtual flight to help him understand his own rhythm, his own sleep needs. And so the only thing we can do is give him advice to sleep for such amount of time, at least for, for 24 hours, and also to show him if there is a gap between what he feels and what we actually measure. No? And? No. We are recording the ECG signal of the pilot using a device like this one. Okay? This device is designed to acquire and uh, process the ECG signal of the, of the pilot. And we use uh, the microcontroller that is inside here to uh, perform some advanced signal processing to detect the important points of the ECG. And then we can use these uh, points, these uh, results, to uh, diagnose some possible diseases or possible arrhythmias that may happen during the flight, or even to uh, have an idea of the, of the fatigue of the pilot or things like that. <laughs> 